All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Rusty Tabisco episode four. Uh, it's been a while since I've actually uploaded to the channel, um, so I'm just saying it with every first video back of the series that I'm watching this season. Um, I have had issues with uh, copyright strikes over this time period. I'm record currently recording this on the day that this is released, the Monday, but um, I don't know when it's going to be up because my channel is still not up as of yet. Uh, but looking forward to getting back into the swing of things and I'm excited to continue this series on this season. So as always guys, I like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new and let's go into this episode right now. Rust. The anime. Where's the giant crab? <laughs> He's getting fucking stressed. <laughs> Is he looking for his giant crab? Is that what he's looking for? Whoa, what are these flowing moss balls? Zoro? Well, he's sightseeing. Come on. Let him enjoy it. Alright, fair advice. How does it just hover, though? It's like just really freaking light or what? Oh shit, why have you passed out, Mr. Panda? Have you just not realised he fell over, bro? Or he did realise. Did he get heat stroke? What is it? Whoa! Fucking lizards! Did he fry that on the car bonnet? What? What exactly happened to him? Why did he pass out like that? And why is the lizard the cure? That's why we got the crab. Where is it? Oh, so they're not using the crab. They are using rails. Crab! <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, this thing makes a fucking entrance. Is that a crab noise? Okay. Goddamn Kaiju. What's his name? Aktagawa. Let's fucking go. We got us a tank crab. Hell yeah. Does it walk sideways? Or does it walk straight on? Did he just yeet him off? Oh my god. What? Why? <laughs> the hell? Hey, bro's fitted. Let's go. I'd fucking laugh if he just yeeted him again. Oh my freaking god. <laughs> oh, this thing, man. Oh, the crab is moving forward, not sideways. Lol. Oh, he's going to go flying again. <laughs> this is not fair, man. He's the freaking Milo's such a nice person. Okay, so he's actually letting him ride slowly but surely. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. One of his arms is massive. Probably the bones in your neck. He's freaking trying. <laughs> What's he doing? Like poisoning his arrowheads or wrapping them in mushroom juice? God damn, this crab is fast. Oh, it's her. Did she just have a random rocket launcher in her bag? Oh shit, he's about to snipe her. <laughs> you can't rob Bisco. <laughs> oh my god. He's like, damn, ain't nobody ever speak to me like that. First time I've ever seen someone who could talk to a crab first before they could ride it. Yeah, this is my first time too. Of course she's here. Are you crying? What's wrong with you? 
What the flip? Is she choking? What the hell? Oh damn, Milo. Ugh! What the hell? God damn, Milo. Wait, is she a slave? Jesus Christ. That's just how he be. He helps anyone. This man has been offered bare women before. You don't need to be doing that. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, God. Yeah, he probably is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's going to kill you. <laughs> oh, this goes funny. <laughs> That's true, I guess, yeah. Scorpion, honey. Interesting. Oh, oh my god. Brutal. What does Bisco mean? <laughs> Bro, can't be charging them. God damn. Bro, he saved your life. You should have given them some free shit. Wait, is Bisco just Biscuit? Is his name Biscuit? Oh, I mean strong. <laughs> this is what you taste like, bro. <laughs> Excuse me? What are you doing? Bone coal? Um, this doesn't seem like a good idea. What a great way to dispose of fucking <laughs> gasoline. Oh my god. Whoa! <laughs> what is... What? Are they inside it? Bro, this is so cool. Giant crab weapon things. Oh, this is what happens. Light it on fire. Blow it up. It's a snail? What was a crap? How are you going to do it? You're going to talk to it? Oh, <laughs> he's actually doing it. Hell yeah. Oh, shit. Bro, this crab is so badass. Yeah, for real, bro. I love this trio already. The trio being the crab, Bisco and Milo. Bro, did it just launch a mushroom into its brain? God damn. Oh, no fucking way. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it, the, the underground mines may still be okay. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, she left loads of food. That's good, at least. Did she take... Bisco's money, too? Oh, he's been really trying. Whoa, look at this landscape. It's so bare, but it's like so... I don't know. Nice to look at. This, this world has some really creative scenery, I've got to admit. Is that a watermelon? What? This is some monster pretending to be a watermelon or something. Oh. Oh. When is it another kid? Is it just a bunch of kids with guns? Hell yeah. All right, so that was Rusty Tabisco episode four. Uh, that was a really fun episode. I knew this anime was going to pick up more once these two were actually... Um, got together and actually like started exploring which was kind of obvious of how it was going to go um, and yeah it's, it, this was a really fun episode honestly with Akutagawa, Milo and um, Bisco uh, along with the girl whose name I forgot if it was mentioned um, hopefully she'll she'll pop back up in the future but for the time being this trio is really awesome it was nice to see all the work Milo was putting in with Akutagawa 
Um, and uh, yeah, just a lot of interesting stuff. The fight sequence is really cool between uh, Akitagawa and the big giant hermit crab looking thing. Um, just yeah, very cool. Love the scenery, love the, love the story so far. And I'm definitely excited to see where this is going to go next. Um, but anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. And I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.